try lane for uh, Empire. Where's the other hero? I'm having kind of trouble fighting. Disruption at bottom. Ice path on the mark. Oh no, he's, yeah, but anyway, I thought he was going to take ice path. Took dual breath First and blood. there's that damage output we were talking about. He was like, he was oh, like 0 and 5. Oh he yeah, he's dead right so here. dead. Oh, he's so dead. They don't even need Wave for this. Look at that. Perfect trap. He's going to try to eat his way out. It doesn't matter. And it's so easy to do. Like, this is the kind of thing that's so fun to try to do in pups because it really doesn't take much to be able to execute it. Full-time farming hero, like the Lycan, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And, yeah, I think this is just brilliant laning and drafting out of Team Tinker this time. Yep, they're going to go again. Ice path this time. Look at this. Shadow Wave is so strong off that. They may get Sing Sing in return, but even if they do, it's certainly worth the trade. And, you know, always want to fly. He's taking a ton of creep damage. He just rushed through the creeps. He's dead. No doubt about it. They may get Bulb. If they get Bulb, it might be worthwhile. Scandal may end up dead here. He's burning down very quickly. Here comes Solo. Sing Sing hiding out, using the urn that he's already purchased. And Okay, Solo. All right. That's Wow. What? And he kind of threw a level one trade. Oh, God. He might die. Uh, he had great. He didn't use it. There's going to be the macro pyro. Though. Scandal came into a hot LZ. There's going to be a Ravage coming from Koikva as well. They managed to get Solo and one in mid. There's going to be the Chrono, though, so Sing Sing should be brought down. Pycat hanging just outside of it, but Koikva is going to chase him down. Now Yoki likely to drop well-placed Ice Path from Bulba. That makes it a double kill for the Jakiro. And Bulba still might be caught out. Yeah, it looks like Always Wanna Fly is going to get the return kill there. It was a really nice counter ravage from Koikva. Mm. They didn't have the they didn't have the burst to follow up. Like Skyrath is in level six yet. Yeah. So they had simple four. Okay, there's a Yules on the silence. Koikva coming in. That could be a feat by Koikva. Yeah, that's be very it. careful. Disruptions there. Grave is ready if needed. And there goes the macro fire. Koikva. Staying up front, and he's going to be up by the Tornado. He does end up dead because of it. Now it looks like they finally might have a chance to push them back. EGM's going to be the next to die. Ice Path from Bulba. Throws out the dual breath next. And hit from behind with an Ignite, and he is being slowed, so Bulba had a chance to get out. Ends up feeding himself. What else can hit the heroes when they're up in the air like that? CQ1. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Always want to fly, caught by Pycat and Bulba. And Macro Pyro. Oh, good. Wolf blocking just to make sure he has no chance to get away. And Pycat will be the one to take the kill. Very easily done with a double damage rune. In the meantime, Silent still trying to put some pressure on mid. And did he buy his recipe? He, if he didn't, it should be up soon. Yep, there's going to be a Chrono. This time they get EGM. There's the combo. Tornado splits the wickets, doesn't find anyone behind the fight, but they end up going support for support. And now Pycat's going to charge out. Koi still has his blink. I don't think he can catch him, though. There's a Ice Path. On to Silent. What was Silent doing there? The rest of his team bailed. And he was just caught by himself and ends up being a free kill. He'd have a four staff and a mech. Yeah, actually, I don't even... I mean, the blink is amazing, but mech is so good at this team. Because they have double art, so they're not going to have to worry about EMP too much. They'll have the mana to cast it. Tornado toss. Trying to spam them out. Pycat taking some damage here. Has his book three down, and just can look at this, how quickly this tier three is dropping, just in sub-20 minutes. Demonic Purge on the scanner. But no follow-up. And now there's going to be an initiation. Disruption. On to Silent, he's trapped. There's no follow-up. Now there's a Ravage. Got Silent and always want to fly. Koikva, not short on pulling the trigger. For better or for worse, that time for better. And that's going to be the range racks down. Oh, a big difference in the west and the east. We casted, we've been casting east. The east, it takes one racks and runs. The west says no, we want both. Yep. And Koikva. That's, that's so true. And Koikva catches an ulti, but there's a shallow grave to save him. Pike got re-engages. Caught by a multicast in the fire blast, however. Does follow it up. There's a disruption. Do they want to do anything? Yep, Ice Path to follow. Always want to fly down again. Here comes beautiful Chronosphere. EGM's down. They're going on quick, but next. Bulba can't save him. No, then again. Never mind. Thought his jewels was on cooldown. Ice Path. Oh, no. Cold Snap means Bulba's going to end up dead because of it. And down he goes. So, Empire loses Rax, but they get a little bit. Another tier three in about literally eight seconds. They don't have a glyph. And Bulba just is getting his pipe right now. This is, this is so good. So I can Up front by himself. Bulba's going to come up. Gets a liquid fire off. I'm surprised Bulba's playing as far in front as he is. I feel like he should be back a bit. Pipe is going to be deployed. The creeps are helping to finish off the tower. 
And there's going to be a multicast. And then time two, three's down. Silent comes down into the ice path after being used. Gets up a Viper Strike, but does end up dying behind it. Pycat still has his Aegis and still has a lot of health, as well as a lot of support behind him. And it looks like Yoki actually did manage to grab the Tine Hunter behind that. There's going to be a Chrono. And he's going to finish off EGM on his own. Pycat again still has Aegis. The Viper is down. They're going to try to turn it around and go to work on Scandal. And Scandal just got hung up in the creeps and ended up being the second of a double kill for Pycap. And this is going to be the second set of racks. Yoki did about all he could there. He got the tide from behind. I didn't see how. I thought he had expanded the chronosphere. I just saw quick for dropping. But the chrono then came out, and he got a couple of kills too. And Empire in dire straits. And wow, Solo going to get, look at that, just getting chunked. The Wolves might be able to finish him if they can catch him. One more will do. Nope, there's a mech in the meantime. Sing Sing ate a multicast. Now here comes Yoki back in. And nice, nice pet to save Sing Sing. Still got, he got hung up in the creeps that time. And they will go ahead and retreat, but they can just reset, wait on Ravage, and then do it again down top. Yep, because they still have the H's too. Uh, Pycat kind of blocked himself with his own wolves there, which is unfortunate. Smoke coming out. Pycat actually might lose it. They're actually nope. just going to call it as they find Pycat. I was, knowing this, knowing this Empire squad, I was actually shocked they didn't call it about the time they lost their uh, lost their first hero down the bottom. Like, <laughs> yeah, the Empire, know, it, Empire does, not, uh, does not wait on calling their GGs most of the time. Team Tinker gets their doubleheader off to a good start with a sub 20.